Oh, shoot, you are in frame. Uh, if you're on YouTube making videos, you know what merit is. If you're a Comic Skate Associated channel, a big Comic Skate channel like EVS, he might give you a few hundred subs and a boost, but you're quickly going to find your level again. I saw a few channels jump to a few thousand subs, but then they just kind of sit there because they're still learning the game, and I am still learning the game too. I know that. Uh, no, no hubris here. The only exception to that was the Star Wars girl, or that Star Wars girl. She got boosted, but then she blew up because she was ready and really talented if you're into Star Wars and Star Trek. And, I mean, I like the movies, but not, not that much. And again, I kind of think of Trekkies as just really smart versions of furries. So, oh, I saw this tweet, but first, um, cats are assholes. Those are for people, not cats. You're a cat. <laughs> it's the paws and the tail. Should be an indicator. Get in focus. This is such a cheap camera. Um, those are for people. Get the F out, cats. I like cats, but um, I am allergic to cats, so they do this thing where they find people who are allergic to them, and they will rub around them, my legs, in between my legs and stuff, and even when I'm out walking the dog, cats will approach me and, and try to uh, try to get treats or something from me. I don't know. I have cats hit for people before. I like cats. I just wish I wasn't so allergic to them. I'm not that bad, or bad but... It's not like uh, cats are. It's not like they respect privacy or boundaries. You know, it's like you, you come in, you open the door, it's like, oh, cat, hey, you're on my pillow. That's great. That's great, cat. Um, so I saw this tweet by Stephanie Cook. And that's asking uh, for women who draw diverse and real. This is her first one. Real body types. She followed it up by saying that she also meant to include non-binary. Maybe to give her credit, she's working on a lesbian basket weaving anthology where the theme is women artists who draw fat people. But then why include men who identify as women? If you want women with the experience of being women, why are you including men at all? Uh, man has to claim to identify as a woman to be welcome in your club. So you get biological women, women who identify as... No, men who identify as women, women who identify as men, but no men who identify as men. Isn't that just sexist? Yes, of course it is. What's the similarity between a man, a woman, and a man who says he's a woman? Doesn't anyone feel the urge to just raise their hand and say, Wait a minute, you won't welcome men unless they claim to be non-binary. Doesn't that strike anyone else as really creepy and definitely not inclusive? Just try to swap the sexes and see what happens. It's like these Marxists get so entangled in new think, culture is politics, and politics is war, that they paint themselves into a corner. They also did it with trans athletes. They want diversity and inclusivity, but they're coming up against the harsh facts of reality. Men are not women. Take a look at the male athletes who are taller and more muscular than the girl athletes, and predictably, they usually beat the real girls. So you have scholarships that would have gone to girls going to long-haired boys. They do the same thing when they have meetings. They squabble over who is more oppressed among themselves and who should lead it. And then it comes down to a fight over Israel and Palestine, which I, I love bringing up because I just love starting firefights. You have women who start an organization like a woman's march, and then they slowly get forced out of the group that they started by people who claim to have more oppression points. It's an Ouroboros of cringy, blue-haired, childish weirdos. The issue that destroys so many SJW groups is merit. When you have a group of people or an individual that starts something, they're the most motivated because it's their vision. They are the best person to lead it. You don't give advice to someone who is succeeding. You just stay out of their way. No Bob Igor. Don't give any advice on The Mandalorian and keep Kathleen Kennedy away. The Mando is a soft hit. It's not great. It's just that Disney Star Wars is absolute woke SJW cancer. But for Disney, Mando is a bright point. Leave it alone. When you see tweets like this, or Heather Antos, Vida Ayala, Mags Kwanzer, Ta-Nehisi Coates, Gail Simone, Kelly Sue DeConnick, and a dozen more people, they are turtles on fence posts. You immediately know what is wrong with any industry that they're involved in. They didn't get there on merit. Whoa, Bianca, you're criticizing women and brown people. Well, are they equal or not? If you want to treat people equally, then you have to treat people, people equally. That means you have to call out bad writers and bad art. 
You hired them preferentially based on sex, sexual preference, or ethnicity. You didn't hire them on merit. Then, because they have these special characteristics that act as shields, you aren't allowed to criticize them without being called istophobic. It's a clever tactical move, and it's pretty obvious. Hire a trans person to be your woke mouthpiece. They can push your propaganda, and if you criticize them, a bunch of high school girls will attempt to destroy your life on Twitter. Gail Simone literally got her job back because of a Twitter campaign of people who don't buy comics. This results in a death spiral of woke retardation, where a customer or critic gets attacked only when they criticize a protected category. This is a feedback loop where the company thinks their purse puppy creators are getting a positive reception because they get lavished in praise. So they hire more purse puppies to insulate the company from criticism. EVS does this type of conflation to anyone who criticizes him. He'll call them anti-comics gate because he wants to deflect the very valid criticism against his behavior and spread it out over all of comics gate. So he pushes CG to attack that person. It's a pretty childish maneuver. I.e., if you don't love Mag's dog poop writing, then you hate all trans people or all Italians. It's such a disingenuous argumentative term, no, technique. So Vita Ayala, Kwanzaa, Tanahisi are legitimately bad at comics. But most people won't say it because of their privileged class. Yes, they are privileged. Right now in the West, they're one of the most privileged classes. Don't let the Marxist media lie to you. So these protected people never improve because they just don't have to. When you get hired because you're Joe Glass or Mags, you have to remain gay or trans and far left. The far left part is essential. If Mags and Kwanzaa started pushing conservative Christian talking points and joined Comics Gate, they would be canceled. And uh, hey, you guys are welcome to come on my channel anytime you want. Anyone is. Imagine, say that they stayed socialist but started coming on Comics Gate live streams and just had polite conversations or even arguments but behaved like ladies and gentlemen. It would be an Elon Musk moment of, oh no, baby, where are you going with this? All their SGW comrades would start to get nervous and try to build a consensus to cancel them. They'd never act as individuals because they know how fast the group turns on them. For example, I like some of the cool things EVS has done, and I criticize the time he acts like a SJW. Then people fight in the comments. That's how a normal, healthy relationship in an association works. That type of intra-fighting is an... I had to substitute because I couldn't pronounce internecian fighting. Internecian fighting is an example of concepts being debu uh, debated in the open marketplace of ideas. Let good ideas come to the top. Another difference between us and the SJWs is the concept of letting things go and moving on, which is, of course, an issue with some people in Comicsgate and EVS, which is why people wonder he, if he's actually an SJW in disguise. Now, I don't know if uh, her tweet, uh, Cook's tweet, is a special project. It probably is, but it exemplifies the problem of not seeking merit. One of the reasons Kickstarter is having problems is because they're running a business not according to generally accepted business practices. They're highlighting lesbian, trans, women of color who are crappy artists doing crappy art, instead of highlighting Lone Star or Jawbreakers. Just sell what sells. There is always room for LGBT stuff, of course, but you can't exclude Lone Star to push a lesbian anthology. That's how you go out of business. So Ren had this tweet about women in Comics Gate. Uh, this deals with a few issues. Merit and that there aren't a lot of women in comics. Uh, that is okay, and don't get offended. It's because women aren't more than a few percentage of the people who buy comics. And really, what is the right amount of women in Comics Gate? Ren is in Comics Gate, um, she doesn't buy the products, but she isn't happy about not just women in Comics Gate, but that the only women in the top 20 projects is Betty Breitweiser. Hey, Ren, anyone but SGWs are welcome to join Comics Gate. Maybe if you stopped fire hosing the gays for a few minutes, put down Twitter, and worked on your writing, Deadbeats 2 will do better than $34,000. Uh, hey, bigot, and, you know, don't get me wrong, 34K is an amazing accomplishment for a first-timer. But, uh, you know, for these people with this social media presence, because uh, there's like 50 people who worked on the project, 
they it was Mags and Ren. They've got a huge, huge following. This thing should have been ten, ten times that. So like they always say, they say, oh, it's not about the money, it's about the art. Well, the art in Deadbeats, yes, I have it. <laughs> Someone sent it to me. It's uh, it's pretty rough. But, you know, if the story was dope, then I could forgive the amateur art. And if you get the story out to more people and made more money, then you could afford to hire a better artist. The thing I don't understand about SDWs is they make something that appeals to a small art audience to start with. LGBT of color, so like less than 1% of the country. Then they give them such a crappy product that it only makes $34,000. Or you've got Joe Glass, The Pride, or Ghost in L.A., Kim and Kim. Just the worst written and drawn garbage. You can't give people junk and expect them to buy it just because it's gay or colored of color. That isn't enough. Gay people don't want garbage. The Pride had grizzly bears uh, struggle snuggling in the back hole twinks. Gross. Though to be fair, DC had a shark sodomizing Constantine, so maybe anthropomorphic interspecies erotica is the next big thing in the degenerate comic club. I don't know. Maybe some people should be gassed. Just sort of as a way to cleanse the comic community. I'm not suggesting a mass genocide, but maybe just a little one for the good of comics. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. If you want to send me an email, BiancaZombie62 at gmail.com. If you want to support the channel, hit up the links below. If you want me to edit your comic, um, send me a digital link or hard copy. Or if you want to send me comics by supporting the channel with your art or sending me Comicsgate books to read and review, or just comics that you want me to take a look at, uh, hit up my P.O. box in the links below. Thank you to all of those who have supported the channel. I think we all know that I don't, do not deserve it, but thank you anyway.